Hey, it's Robin from Rose and Lily. I've had quite a few requests for a larger turtle pattern. So today I'm going to show you how to make this one. So here is my original turtle. And here is the bigger one. So he's quite a bit bigger, but overall a very similar shape. First you'll need some super chunky plush yarn in two colours, so a body colour and a shell colour. I'll list the colours I use in the description box, and I use less than one skein of each. Then you'll need some large safety eyes, a USG crochet hook, a yarn needle, scissors, polyfill, and then I also suggest using stitch markers. The stitches we'll be using that you need to know beforehand are single crochet, a magic ring, chain stitch, slip stitch, increase, invisible decrease and also a colour change. We're going to start on the head using the main body colour. And in round one it's six single crochet in a magic ring. I do have a tutorial on how I like to do the magic ring and I'll link it at the top of this video. Pull the ring tight. And then I like to use a stitch marker at the end of each round. In round 2 we are doing 6 increases. That means we are doing 2 single crochet into each stitch from round 1. That brings a total of round 2 to 12 stitches. In round 3 we start with a single crochet, and then we do an increase. And we do that 6 times in total to get 18. In round 4 we do 2 single crochet, and then an increase, and we do that 6 times in total to get 24 stitches. In round 5 it's 3 single crochet, and then an increase. We do that 6 times in total to get 30. In round 6 it's 4 single crochet and then the increase. We do that 6 times to get 36. Now we're going to do 5 rounds with no increasing. So that's rounds 7 to 11 and we just do 36 single crochet in each round. And I'll do these 5 rounds off camera. Now we can attach the safety eyes and I like to put them between rounds 6 and 7. 
and about 12 stitches apart. Now I'll just attach the backs off camera. Now we're going to start decreasing for the head. So in round 12 we start by doing 4 single crochet. Now we do an invisible decrease. And we do that all the way around to get a total of 30 stitches. In round 13 we do 3 single crochet and then a decrease and we do that 6 times in total to get 24 stitches. In round 14 we do two single crochet and then the decrease and we do that six times in total to get 18. Now we can remove the stitch marker and close with a slip stitch into the next stitch. And we can cut the yarn making sure to leave quite a long tail for sewing. And now we can stuff the head. Now we are going to do the front legs. In round 1 it's 7 single crochet in a magic ring. In round 2 it's 7 increases. That brings the total of the round to 14 stitches. In round 3 we do a single crochet and then an increase. And we do that all 7 times to get 21. In round 4 we do 2 single crochet and then an increase. We do that 7 times in total to get 28. In round 5 it's 3 single crochet and then increase. 
We do that seven times to get 35. Round six is our last round of increasing and we do four single crochet and then an increase and we do that seven times to get 42. After round six, you can remove the stitch marker and then we are going to fold the piece in half and single crochet across both sides to close. Once you reach the end, you can cut the yarn making sure to leave a bit of a tail for sewing. Now you're going to be making two of these front legs, but for one of them, we are going to bring that tail through to the opposite end. Make sure not to pull it too tight because we don't want to misshape that leg. So the second leg you'll make exactly the same, just without pulling through that tail. And then your two legs should be symmetrical like this. Next we are going to do the back legs. And they're exactly the same as the front legs, just one round shorter. So I am going to move through this section quite quickly, but I will keep the pattern instructions at the top of the screen. So for the back legs we've stopped after round 5 and once again we're going to fold the piece in half and single crochet across both sides to close.
cut the yarn making sure to leave a bit of a tail. Then for one of the back legs, just like with the front legs, you're going to bring that tail through to the opposite end. Once you've done your two back legs, they should be symmetrical like this. Now we're going to do the tail in the main body color. And in round one, it's just four single crochet in a magic ring. In round two, it's four increases. So that's two single crochet into each stitch from round one. And that brings us up to eight stitches in the round. In round three to five, so that's three rounds, it's just eight single crochet around. Now we can remove the stitch marker and close with a slip stitch. And cut the yarn leaving a tail for sewing. I'm not going to stuff the tail but you can stuff it if you wish. Now we're going to start on the shell in the second colour. And in round one it's six single crochet in a magic ring. In round two, it's six increases, which brings you up to 12 stitches in round two. In round three, it's a single crochet and then an increase. And we do that six times to get 18. In round four, it's two single crochet and then an increase. And we do that six times to get 24. In round five, we do three single crochet and then an increase. We do that six times in total to get 30 stitches. In round six, it's four single crochet and then an increase. We do that six times in total to get 36. Round 7 is the last round of part 1 of this tutorial. And we do 5 single crochet and then an increase. We do that 6 times to get 42.
And that's the end of part one. We'll continue with the shell and the body in part two.